Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. This is Marquita from At Home with Kita and here I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Planners are a great way to track your habits and they can also really help you to stay on track to achieving your goals and improving yourself, which is what we all want to do, right? Tracking habits is the best way to turn them into lifelong habits and change them from something that you're just trying to do into a lifestyle change. And it can also be a creative outlet. So today I'm going to share with you how I track my habits in my planner. So let's get into it. So in today's video, I will also be offering a freebie that will be included on my blog. It's a free habit tracker that you can download. It's going to be available in classic size. So that way you can track your habits. You're more than welcome to reformat the page to fit the planner of your choosing. And also when it comes to tracking habits, you can track them in various ways in your planner, which is what I do. Also in a notebook, if you have one nearby, you can track it in your notebook. And if you bullet journal, it's a great way to be able to track habits as well and you can kind of design the page to the best uh, that's going to fit your needs. Also, a phone has apps that you are able to easily track your habits as well. I find that having in my planner is just the best way to do that. I am a paper planner. I'm not so much a digital planner. And so I need to be able to see them in my planner in order to make sure I keep up with them. So, so the tracker that I'm currently using is our new habit trackers. I love this because it has multiple sections for tracking habits. So I've been using this. I also have a page that I pop in here from time to time that I use to track my habits as well. So I'll show you a couple of different ways using this method, which is just a notepad. I tore off a sheet using a full page habit tracker. And then also you can use stickers to track habits as well. So those are a few ways that you can track habits. And if you're not quite sure which habits you want to track within that printable that I have included as a part of this video, it is going to have 50 ideas for starting to habit track. So that'll give you some ideas on some things that you can track in your planner. So that will be included. It'll be some prompts that you can use. I love to include prompts and ideas in some of my printables. That way, if you're not sure how to use a printable, that will give you some ideas. Okay, so I use different trackers based on that week, what I have going on, what I wanna track, how I feel, and that is what I typically pop in. So when it comes to this particular tracker here, I use this in my business and social media section. This tracker is typically what I'll use throughout my week, and then sometimes I'll pop a sticker in on my page to be able to track more habits or different habits, or just, again, it just all depends on that week and which habit tracker I plan on using. So this is my favorite tracker right now, again, because I love that it has different slots here that you can track different things. So here's step one. Determine what habits you want to start tracking. Think about your goals and what you want to accomplish to help you pick what habits are the most important to you. Step two, use your planner, notebook, phone, bullet journal, whatever tool is going to work best for you to track those habits. Step three, for inspiration on how to decorate the page, if that's what you choose to do using your planner, to track each of your habits, then open up Pinterest and search the habit name plus bullet journal if you're using bullet journal or planner if you're using planner or phone if you're using phone to be able to come up with some inspiration on how to decorate or use that particular form of tracking your habit. Step four. Keep your planner somewhere accessible so that you can track those habits, especially if there's something that you need to track throughout the whole day, like drinking water, rather than once a day or once a week. Step five, after completing the time you originally started tracking the habit, then take a bit to evaluate the habits. If you feel you can continue to do these habits without tracking them, then you can stop. But in general, it's good to track a habit for at least three months to ensure that it truly becomes a habit. And don't forget to check the included freebie included with this video for 50 ideas on habits for you to start tracking. All right, guys, so now that I have determined what my habits are, I've written them all in here. 
The next step in the process is simple. You're just gonna start tracking those habits. So when it comes to this particular insert, which is going to be included as a part of the freebie here, remember I we talked about that earlier, you can use this for a month or longer. So what you'll wanna do here, and you can use this various ways, is you'll wanna write the week of here on the second line. Um, there are multiple lines here. So let me give you a close look of that. There's multiple lines here. So you can write week of March, whatever to March, whatever. And then Monday through Sunday, start checking off those habits. So you don't have to have a ton of these or keep popping them in every week. You can just transfer this from week to week and you'll have multiple slots here in which you can track your habits. You can also just use one slot here and write in all of your habits below. So this would say Bible, water, vitamins, workout, uh, read for however many minutes and it's the same sort of concept you'll still be able to take this and transition it week to week i like seeing it like this because it allows me to kind of identify and see all of those major habits as opposed to it kind of getting blended in here in the same column so that is two ways that you can use this particular insert again this will include prompts so it'll be a multi-page insert and so on one side you'll see all of those prompts and then on this page you'll be able to see the habits that you want to track so my habits are, and these don't change for me, um, they stay the same pretty much, um, and I may add to these. So I like to track my Bible reading, Monday through Sunday, of course, my water intake, vitamins, workout, reading for 20 minutes at least, making my bed, skincare, laundry. And then I also like to track what podcasts I'm listening to, which there are a few that I'm listening to and loving right now, laying out my clothes, or not my clothes, but Addison's clothes for the week, journaling, my social posts, and that's broken down even more and I'll show you where that is broken down and then a 10 minute clean every day so these are my main habits I have a couple of other slots that I can use for some additional habits but this page is awesome these are new to our shop actually they go live physically on Monday but I'm gonna go ahead and include the freebie printable today and actually I may even include the one that we mail out to you as well the, the actual physical copy of this only because I'm talking about it in the video and I want you guys to be able to get this if you so choose to. So we will print this and ship it to you just like all of our other inserts. But if you want to download this for free, you can do that. It's very easy. You just need to become a member of my blog at homewithkita.com. Up in the top left kind of corner of the blog, you'll see the members only section. And what you'll do is just become a member. If you're already a member, you'll just log in. It is free to become a member. And once you become a member, you'll have access to all of the freebies. And I am implementing Freebie Friday again. If you guys don't remember, some time ago, I started Freebie Friday. Friday, which means every Friday there'll be a new printable available. So I think I'm going to start that back April 1st. And so the previous week's insert will be removed on Thursday night or really Friday because 11.59 or you know whatever. You guys know how that works. And then Friday, there'll be a new freebie. And then every so often, like this video, I like to just include a freebie that is not a part of Freebie Friday. It's just a freebie that will most likely always be there. So I love, love, love these. This is the main way that I track habits. In addition to the notepad that I talked to you guys about earlier, it's just structured a little bit different and this forces me to have to redo a new habit page every single week. So we have a habit tracker notepad, which is awesome. So I just pull this off the notepad and I stick this in every week. Or again, this allows you to not have to do it every single week. All you're doing is just rewriting in the date and then checking it off as you're completing that habit. So either way, but these are the main two methods that I do habit tracking on a weekly basis. Um, and these both methods are equally beneficial so if I do this way then it'll be popped in my planner like this right up here and then I just check in with my planner every day of course and I track that habit off and then if I use this this will be popped in during the week and sometimes I'll even fold it that way it doesn't take up as much of a footprint and then I just move the pages as needed and I pop it right in here so again both ways work very well so I track all of these things here that I just mentioned to you. And then we talked about social posts. So I do track my social post here as well, just so I can have it in my weekly spread. And right here, I would be doing, you know, the date or breaking down whatever that platform is. But the main way that I do that is in my work section. So you know the habits that I track. You kind of know, well, my thought process in terms of breaking down habits, you'll just 
literally want to have a session with yourself and figure out what habits you'll want to develop. Again, the insert that I'm including has some ideas on some habits you may want to track if you're drawing a blank and which how you can do that or what just some ideas on some habits that you can track. Sit down with yourself, have that session, maybe map it out, just write it in rough draft wise and then go to that tracker and start plugging them in. So when it comes to social media, this is how I track that. I like to track everything based on the platform. So as you can see, I folded it in half. That just works for me to be able to see through the back of the page. And so the social posts that I post to are YouTube. I do shorts. I do Instagram for At Home with Kita and Instagram with Fancy Plants Co. I do Reels, TikTok, Facebook, Reels, and Pinterest. I also am trying to get back into my blog, so I did add, add a section for that, but as you can see, there's nothing checked off here, yet there. So this is a weekly basis tracker, the way I have it structured here. Again, you could do it the same way that I did it on the other page where this would say YouTube, this would say Instagram, this would say whatever. Uh, it's completely up to you with how you wanna do that. But these trackers are awesome. Another way that you could track habits is literally just by writing it in your planner. So this is the subject layout. So I could say trackers here and I could start breaking down, you know, those habits that I want to track on a daily basis. I'm using this uh, for my business and social media planner, um, but you could use this layout for your regular life planner. And then at the bottom here, you just write in whatever those habits are on a daily basis and then start checking them off. In my opinion, you'll want to check them off every day check in with your planner and make sure you're staying on track with those habits i believe it takes 21 days to form a habit and that's what we're trying to do form those habits so even after i think i formed a habit i still continue to track it just because you could fall off don't think that once you have uh, developed the habit so to speak it just is going to stay there. You'll still need to make sure that you are checking in to make sure that you're on track with those habits. And so that's why I continue to track them. So we talked about trackers. I showed you two trackers that I use. There are so many trackers on the market that you could easily use that look very similar to this. And you could use that to track your habits. So you could use a full page insert. You could use a notepad sheet that I did that I showed you before. Again, we're talking planners now, but you could use a notebook. You could use a phone. You could use a bullet journal it's completely up to you with how you track them just keep note if you're using a bullet journal you're probably gonna do more with stickers and more with drawing things in because it's a blank slate whereas with a planner you can pop in an insert or write it right in on your weekly spread so inserts are great again for that also uh, like I mentioned just before notepads you could use a sticky note so I would just grab a sticky note set here these are my one of my favorite sticky notes um, at the top here what you would do is you would write in whatever that habit is that you're trying to create so let's say that's water intake okay and then you could do monday tuesday and so on and so forth right and then you could use this as a check mark system to check it off as you're doing it. Okay, so that is another idea of how you could track your habits. If you prefer to use a sticky note, you'll need something that has lines or whatnot. Or if you're using a blank sticky note, of course, you'll have to create all that yourself. So I love using sticky notes to create habits as well. And then another way that you can create habits and we're just talking about you know, adding them to your planner. We already have determined what habits we wanna track, and now we're just determining in which method or system we wanna track those habits. So another way that you can track habits in addition to the ones I just mentioned is by popping a sticker on your planner. So as we know, there are a ton of stickers on the market that have already have habit trackers designed within the sticker. All you have to do is pull it off and pop it in your planner wherever you want it to go. So if you wanna track habits by the month, of course you'll wanna pop that onto your monthly spread. And if you wanna track them by the week, you'll want to make sure to add it to your weekly spread. So a great sticker book that has some habit tracker and journaling things is this sticker book from The Happy Planner. I love this, especially if you prefer a neutral aesthetic. It has a couple of different trackers here. So it's got one here that you could break down a habit. So this could be water. And it's a great size to just be able to pop right on in your planner, either on the spread or whatever page you want to put it on. But I would prefer to just put it in the sidebar here. So you'll just add it right here to your planner. And 
write in whatever that habit is that you are trying to track. So let's say that it is water. So you'll just add that here at the bottom or wherever you place the sticker. And then as you're doing that habit during the week, you just check it off. Okay. And you know that there are seven slots here. So each circle represents a day of the week. So I love this method, especially if there's not that many habits you need to track, maybe just a couple of different track habits. You just need one offs uh, or you're trying to develop a major habit. Uh, then you could put that here and then you could still use this as well. But if you want to just see something glaring right in front of you and you don't want to forget to track that, add it to your sidebar via a sticker. OK, um, there also is another tracker that is included within this book that I love. It's this tracker it has a little foil here and it also has the days of the week. So it's pretty much the same concept as this tracker here, but you're able to see the days of the week and it has just a, a little more of a decorative element. Uh, these are just two options. There are a ton of stickers uh, that you could find in various sticker books that will allow you to track habits. So let's say this is Bible reading. So you'll just write that in here again, very easy to use, and then just start tracking it you know, checking it off as you're completing it. One more tracker that I noticed here is a water tracker. So that one's already ready to go. And so it's going to be a great way to literally not have to write anything in or on the sticker. It's already written for you. Just place it wherever it has little drops there and you can just start checking it off. So stickers are also a great way to be able to track your habits in a more decorative way, an easier way since certain stickers are already written for you. You don't have to do this whole elaborate spread like bullet journaling would require you to do, um, but it's still fun and a creative outlet and allows you to track and achieve those habits that you want to achieve because habits are just super important. Even if you're not tracking them, try to develop them. Um, the best way to develop them, in my opinion, is to see them in front of you so that you can check them off day by day or have some sort of system where you can be able to check in with those habits. So sticky notes, I mentioned to you guys, great way to be able to track those habits, right? So I showed you that sticky note, easy to just pop in your spread. Stickers are an even better way because it doesn't require you to write anything out uh, unless you can find a habit tracker sticky note, which maybe I'll develop and add to the shop. I don't know, comment below, let me know if that's something that you wanna see. Also, I know that you see this journaling card here. So just as a bonus um, mention, of course, there are a ton of journaling cards that you could use to track habits as well. And there aesthetically pleasing. This is just in one of our little pocket adhesive sleeves. It's uh, made out of a sturdy cardboard. So if you just, they don't really change, you don't really need to check anything off, but you just want to kind of see it in front of you. This is a great way to do that. So these are no longer available for us. We sold out, they were a freebie, but maybe we'll bring them back in a different ombre color. So that is another way. I'm just kind of recapping what we've discussed. And then also inserts. Uh, this is a insert that I created recently, free by the way. So don't forget to check the description and um, click on the link to our blog if you're unsure of how to do that. It's very easy, members only section, top left corner, as long as you're a member. You can download any of the available freebies that you see. It is free to become a member, okay? And there are a ton of freebies there and then Freebie Friday coming back soon. Um, this is a notepad. I just pulled it off. That's what I use during my week to track everything. Um, if I wanna break it down even further and see it a little bit differently, I'll use these, okay? Remember monthly. If you want to track your habits by the month, then track them by the month. This is weekly um, and I recommend um, either or. It just depends on what your preference is. Uh, this is going to allow you to have a whole month of tracking. This is just week by week. So you may want to pop some habits in the monthly if you just want to track it like January. I want to make sure I did all these February and so forth. But if you want to break it down even further, I recommend doing this method that I've talked to you about today. Okay. And then when it comes to my work, I use that same one that I showed you. All I do is just fold it in half and I like to be able to see each platform that I am tracking. So you've seen all of my habits that I track. You've seen all the various decorative ways that you can add stickers and sticky notes and things like that. And you know how to track your habits now. If it's something that you want to implement, I definitely recommend some sort of way uh, via the methods that I've discussed with you guys today because habits are very important to track or to at least implement some sort of way, whatever way works for you. So just remember that keeping track of habits is the best way to help actually make them 
turn into lifelong habits that help you become the best version of yourself. And that's what we want to be, right? The best version of ourselves. So that is how I track my habits. Maybe you can implement them or some of those things for your habit tracking if it's something that you want to implement within your planning system. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. You got a little inspiration out of it and you found something new that you want to add to your planner, which means that you'll give me a thumbs up on this video. You'll consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. And of course, I want you guys to come back by and catch another one, in which case I'll see you then.